Welcome to Starting Scripture, a reading of the Bible with Keturah. Today is day 137, and I am reading in the second book of Samuel, chapter 8, and Psalm 38. Second book of Samuel, chapter 8, David's military victories. After this, David defeated and subdued the Philistines by conquering Gath, their largest town. David also conquered the land of Moab. He made the people lie down on the ground in a row, and he measured them off in groups with a length of rope. He measured off two groups to be executed for every one group to be spared. The Moabites who were spared became David's subjects and paid him tribute money. David also destroyed the forces of Hadazer, son of Reho, king of Zobah, when Hadazer marched out to strengthen his control along the Euphrates River. David captured 1,000 chariots, 7,000 charioteers, and 20,000 foot soldiers. He crippled all the chariot horses except enough for 100 chariots. When Arameans from Damascus arrived to help King Hadadezer, David killed 22,000 of them. Then he placed several army garrisons in Damascus, the Aramean capital, and the Arameans became David's subjects and paid him tribute money. So the Lord made David victorious wherever he went. David brought the gold shields of Hedadezer, officer, Hedadezer's officers to Jerusalem, along with a large amount of bronze from Hedadezer's towns of Teba and Barathai. When King Toi of Hamath heard that David had destroyed the entire army of Hedadezer, he sent his, John Jor- his son Joram to congratulate King David for his successful campaign. Hadadezer and Tori and Toy had been enemies and were often at war. Joram presented David with many gifts of silver, gold, and bronze. King David dedicated all these gifts to the Lord, as he did with the silver and gold from the other nations he had defeated, from Edom, Moab, Ammon, Philistia, and Amalek, and from Hadadezer's son of Rehob, king of Zobah. So David became even more famous when he returned from destroying 18,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. He placed army garrisons throughout Edom, and all the Edomites became David's subjects. In fact, the Lord made David victorious wherever he went. So David reigned over all Israel and did what was just and right for all his people. Joab, son of Zeruiah, was commander of the army. Jehoshaphat, son of Ahalud, was the royal historian. Zadok, son of Ahatub, and Amalek, son of Abiathar, were the priests. Saraiah was the court secretary. Benaiah, son of Jehoid- Jehoiada, was captain of the king's bodyguard and David's sons served as priestly leaders. Psalm 38 A Psalm of David asking God to remember him. O oh Lord, don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. Your arrows have struck deep and your blows are crushing me. Because of your anger, my whole body is sick. My health is broken because of my sins. My guilt overwhelms me. It is a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and stink because of my foolish sins. I am bent over and racked with pain. All day long I walk around filled with grief. A raging fever burns within me, and my heart is broken. I am exhausted and completely crushed. My groans come from an anguished heart. You know what I long for, Lord. You hear my every sigh. My heart beats wildly, my strength fails, and I am going blind. My loved ones and friends stay away, fearing my disease. Even my own family stands at a distance. Meanwhile, my enemies lay traps to kill me. Those who wish me harm make plans to ruin me. All day long they plan their treachery. But I am deaf to all their threats. I am silent before them as one who cannot speak. I choose to hear nothing, and I make no reply, for I am waiting for you, O Lord. You must answer for me, O Lord, my God. 
I pray, don't let my enemies gloat over me or rejoice at my downfall. I am on the verge of collapse, facing constant pain, but I confess my sins. I am deeply sorry for what I have done. I have many aggressive enemies. They hate me without reason. They repay me evil for good and oppose me for pursuing good. Do not abandon me, O Lord. Do not stand at a distance, my God. Come quickly to help me, O Lord, my Savior. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Dear Lord, direct our paths this day through your Holy Spirit. Your daughter, your servant, is listening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> 